Because if you don't chase what you really love, you're going to be doing the same thing for the rest of your life. Miserable. You're going to be miserable doing the same thing. Mad at the world because you didn't go out and chase what you liked. <laughs> What is up, my Leah babes? It's your girl, Winnie Lee, and I'm back with another freaking video. This is day seven for my vlogging series, and I'm just about a title. Y'all gonna be rapping credits with me. And we're gonna do a QA because I wrote on my Instagram uh, beginning, like in the end of November, and you guys asked me some questions, so I'm gonna be wrapping presents and answering those things for you guys. Before you do anything, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tune in for more content and tune in for more videos. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first question was, what are my goals going into the next year? <clears throat> One of my goals going into the next year is uh, locking in, like locking in, just becoming the best Whitney I can, being consistent with YouTube for sure. Like I for sure want to go up with YouTube um just my discipline like i want to emphasize discipline bad and i always said like words um going into the new year like so last year my word was consistency just stay consistent whatever you're doing stick to it uh i kind of got the hang of that kind of kind of kind of kind of it wasn't it was up and down up and down but now it's discipline so when you're not consistent you got to be disciplined to your goals and if you repeat the same thing over and over again you have to even when you don't want to you know what i'm saying like even if you don't want to keep doing the same thing every day you see no progress you've been doing the same thing for months and you see no progress you gotta you gotta have discipline to keep doing it because eventually it's going to get better so i feel like that's my that's some of my goals i'm not gonna say all of it because you know some stuff we need to it's personal goals everybody don't need to know but yeah that's um some of my goals so question number two how am i mentally thank you whoever asked that I feel like I'm in a good mental space. You know what I'm saying? I always want to do better. I always want to type. I always want to do better. Like, I'm always doing something, finding a way to just better me or just having fun doing something. So, I am good mentally. Honestly, right now, I'm good mentally. Am I happy with the results I'm getting from being consistent with my YouTube? Um, honestly, yeah. Honestly, I feel like I'm in the road of the process of getting where i want to be in youtube but like it's always a process that you got to go through and i feel like i'm in that like i can look back like you guys watching this are gonna look back on this like two years from now when i'm way better a better audience way better quality way better content better everything and be like whoa i was really watching her when she started literally from the bottom so y'all are in this process with me so i feel like yeah, I'm glad I'm being consistent on my YouTube. I'm glad that I'm going through this now. Then wait later. I said, let me get on it. I've been on YouTube since 2020, y'all. But I just got consistently posting like every month. I'm posting something or something last year. That's when I, I made. I said, I'm going to post them on YouTube every month. And this year, I'm trying to get it like twice a week. Like not just every month. I'm trying to, I'm trying to lock in. But yeah, I feel like I'm in a process stage. And it is hard. It's difficult um raising an authentic audience but i feel like whatever for you is gonna be for you and that's what i'm saying you're gonna find the people who attract to what they like about you and those are gonna be your audience that you is gonna be filled to and i appreciate everybody who watch my videos and continue to watch so yeah that's how, I feel about it. how to be more consistent honestly i'm still trying to figure that out now but I feel like write it out. What what helps me a lot with being consistent is writing out what you want to do. What what is your goals and being consistent. You know what I'm saying? Like you want to be consistently going to the gym. Okay, write out what days you're gonna to go to the gym. And and do not lie to yourself. Like if you say you're going to the gym Monday, go to the gym on Monday. You say you're gonna go Wednesday, you're gonna go twice a week, go make sure you go twice a week. That's how you're gonna be consistent. It, it is very hard to be consistent because you're gonna get discouraged. Sometimes you're not gonna feel like it. But that's when the discipline comes in. You have to be disciplined to stick to something. So that's been my goal. Like all of these vlogmas, I've wrote this down months ahead. So I pre-recorded some 
and that's all you gotta do it, it gotta be within you though for real it has to be something that you really want to do something that you really love and it, it'll come easy it won't, it, it'll come easy to do it ain't gonna come easy to do it consistently but you you will want to do it because that's something you love to do so write it down end of the day write what you want to do down and just make sure that you handle business yeah where is my next trip it's hard to say. Y'all, I've been outside this year. Like, 2023, I was outside. I've been out the country. I've been across the world, east side of the map. Like, and it was just all just from a thought. Like, I want to go there. So, um, I don't have a trip currently planned, surprisingly. But something's in the works going into 2024. But it, is, it, has, it isn't confirmed. So, at this very moment, I don't have any trips planned. So, I don't know where my next trip is to. Mm, but you gotta keep following me and watch and see. I look for in a man. Mm. Y'all, my taste. When my friends see this, I'm like, mm. my taste has really changed. I feel like, first of all, foremost, outside of looks. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not that girl. Looks don't matter. It definitely do. You, I, yeah. Looks definitely matter. Like, you have to be appealing to me. For me to continue to take you serious at least or talk to you but then you have to have some type of goal like i'm chasing a goal right now you know what i'm saying i got stuff i want to accomplish within and i feel like you need to have that too don't just be snag stagnant with where you at in life it's it's always something in your category that you can get better ass at so i feel like yeah you have to have goals y'all like even if, even if, like, the goals is, like, not currently, you need to still have these. I don't want no just log and just chilling it with life, throwing it at them. No, go get it. Go grind and go get something that you really, you know, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I like personality, too. So, you got a personality. I like that a lot. And, yeah, just be genuine. Like, just be genuinely you. Don't try to be nobody else. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot of faking going on with these well everybody but me want to be somebody not you want to be me and another thing don't be me i'm the only female in this relationship i don't want no man that's sassy so just be a man and be you do not try to be me so yeah i'm the basics i don't know i gotta really get to know you to know what else yeah that's the basics how do i always be happy <laughs> why do you think why do you think that I'm always happy? I feel like here's another thing when it comes to this social media thing. Because I'm pretty sure nobody wrote me that, that actually knows me. Bro, social media is not real. Like, nobody's going to post when they're going through hard times. Nobody's going to post when they're going through hard times. Nobody's going to post um, their downfalls. You only, like, so when you're looking in... Looking in on social media, of course you always want to see the good that people have. So, no, I'm not happy all the time. Like, what I got, I'm human. Of course, if I post, I'm gonna be happy. Why would I post being sad? I'm never gonna post myself crying or nothing. I go through that stuff. I'm not happy all the time. What changed about me since last year? Yeah, just working on my, just being a better me. Like, I feel like everybody has that in them. Just always work for it. So. Like, you're not just a human being here. You're not... You're not just put on this earth to just chill and sit. No, it's something that you, that you really love. It's something that, that you're very good at, that you're passionate about. You just got to find it within you. Like, you got to find out what you're good at. What, um... What did you like to do? Like, I feel like everybody... Everybody has goals. Everybody has goals. Everybody has a purpose. Everybody has a talent that they have. It might take other people longer to tap into that talent or goal or a passion that you have. But you definitely do got it. And I feel like you should just search for what it is. Life is too short to be doing something that you don't love to do every day. No matter if you're working that job. No matter if you're not like, like you just lost. It's okay to be lost. It's okay to be stuck. At the end of the day, we are human. You're not going to always have it figured out. Some of y'all parents, parents, we, we look at parents like they have it all figured out, but they really don't. They really just grew up. They just literally getting older every day and they just had kids that they have to raise, but they really, they really haven't grew up. So you just gotta look at it like, if you feel like you're stuck in your life, 
find out what is it you like to do. What is it like that you do the easiest that, that makes that makes you happy? Something that you love to do that you do effortlessly. Like it's not hard to do. I feel like everybody has a passion. And you just gotta you just gotta really dive in. At least pray. Pray about it at least. I don't know how many people on here are Christians or what, but or believe in God. Or whoever you believe in, just pray and seek guidance. And it's all gonna work out. It's all gonna work out at the end of the day. So one-on-one talks are wit. Yeah, y'all want some more advice? Come hit me up. And I'm not no guru. I don't really I just be winging it, you know what I'm saying? Honestly. Honestly, who not winging this life shit? You know what I'm saying? So that's just how I feel about chasing your dream, getting goals. Because if you don't chase what you really love, you're gonna be doing the same thing for the rest of your life. Miserable. You're gonna be miserable doing the same thing, mad at the world because you didn't go out and chase what you liked. It ain't nobody fault but yours. Cause it's it's so many opportunities out here, y'all. You just gotta go chase it. You gotta go do it. I'm trying to tell my friends like, go chase your dream. Kids are not. Kids don't stop nothing. That just give you a, another motivation to keep going. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I know how to wrap it so good, but that's in. I'm not gonna keep uh, wrapping all of these y'all because this video will be an hour. So that's the end of this video. I hope I guys didn't talk too much you know what i'm saying but thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment subscribe and tune in for more content don't don't play with it don't be the size still not